I am not used to Tagalog, but sometimes na pipili sa nako. So you know when you talk in English, they said that you are rich, you are cool, you are brainy. The size of our cake is 10 by 4, 10 inches in diameter and 4 inches in height. It's too big because I want to look more expensive so that your fondant will be smoother than the usual. This will help you to smooth your fondant. Kasi alam nyo guys, lahat ng mga binili ko yun, lahat ng mga pinakita ko yun, sa totoo, kung yung sasabihin ko na Matilda at saka kay Irish, binili ko lang yun sa Divisoria guys. So sa atin sa atin lang to ha. Huwag kayong mga marites. When you feel like your fondant is too hard to handle, like me, so, you can put it on your mic. Broken or hindi siya napuputol, guys. Oh no. My Zara top, guys. of Irish and this is Brenda so wait lang ha guys I'm gonna tabi my gamit I am so busy at my work kasi so wait lang guys I'm gonna fix it first sobrang init so bitawan ko lang tong Ray-Ban ko lagay ko lang siya sa lalagyan I bought this at Paris I bought this at Paris. 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 Hindi sorry lang naman. So, I'm gonna put my MacBook at my Prada bag. So, wait guys. I'm gonna put here first. So, I can't open it. So, I will just put it here first, guys. And my hat, it's so hot. So hot naman here. Sobrang init naman dito sa studio ni Irish. Sobrang init. So, I'm gonna remove my scarf then. It's so hot. But I will leave my expensive necklace. Look. You know, bago ako nagpunta dito, nakapag-shopping pa ako. Alam mo naman. So, I told my dad that Iwan na lang yun sa car, pero ayun, nadala ko pa dito sa studio. Ang sikip tuloy, guys. So, ayan. So, ayan, guys. Nasaan na nga ba tayo? Medyo, it's cold na. Feeling cool na ako ngayon. Ito nga pala yung friend ni Irish, si Brenda. So, ayan. Mga friend ko, sina mga Matilda. So, ayan. Mga ka lang ngayon. Ako napanood Hi, yung rich kid so, na tutorial ayan, ni Matilda. So, ako, tinulungan ko siya doon, guys. Hindi na lang ako nagpa-expose kasi ang init. Alam mo naman, ayoko rin naman ma-expose yung skin ko, kagaya ni Matilda. Ang ganda naman dito. So, ayan, no? Ang daming mga gamit. So, alam mo, hindi naman talaga si Matilda yung totoong rich kid. Ako kaya. Huwag kayo maniniwala masyado doon sa mga videos niya. Kasi ako yung totoong galing sa Paris. So, magpapakake tutorial tayo ngayon. So, before that, ano nga ba yung sinasabi ni Irish kapag nagsistart ng cake tutorial? Yung mag-subscribe? Ah, okay. Ah, oo nga, yun yun. So, before we proceed to our cake tutorial video, so, if you are new here, please like and subscribe to our channel so that you will be updated to our next videos and you will be notified. 
So today, what do you want? Are we going to speak in English or in Tagalog? I am not used to Tagalog, but sometimes na pipilita na ko. So magtablish na lang tayo, guys, kasi I'm not that good in Tagalog pa. So yun. You know when you talk in English, they said that you are rich, you are cool, you are brainy. So that's all. So today, guys, I'm gonna teach you how to cover a dummy cake or styro, guys. Styro, styro lang to. Or they call it dummy cake para mas social, de ba? Mas magandang pagdan. So we're gonna use fondant in covering this dummy or the styro, guys. So, ayon. What are the things we need to do, guys? We need to have some cornstarch. Here, guys, cornstarch. The shortening. And it's up to you if you have a ready-made fondant or the bot store fondant, the rolled fondant one. But for me, so since I am a baker from six years na, so I'm always using my personal recipe. And it all made from scratch, guys. So, ako talaga yung gumagawa ng mga fondant na yan. I am used to marshmallow fondant. But for now, if you are a beginner, you can buy your fondant on your baking store, guys. Pero, yun, too expensive. Pero, ano ba naman yun, di ba? Ano ba naman yung expensive? So, wala tayo sa serye na nagtitipid. So, it's up to you kung gusto niyo magtipid or kung gusto ninyong sariling recipe. But for me, it's my own recipe. So, yan. Nasabi ko na yung name ko, di ba? I am Brenda, but you can call me Bren. So, Bren for short. So, yan. Ewan ko ba sa tatay ko? Pinakahaba-haba niya yung name ko. Eh, natawagin lang naman din ako sa nickname ko, di ba? So, what else, guys? So, we also have some tools here so we need two so that your fondant will be smoother than the usual this will help you to smooth your fondant and then we have the rolling pin and then this is the one we use when we cut pizza but it's better also when you use it on your fondant when you detail when you cover this is very helpful guys and a clean cloth so, any clean cloth or a rug or a disposable, as you can see, I have clean cloth here, guys. So, there. We also have the size of our cake is 10 by 4, 10 inches in diameter and 4 inches in height. It's too big because I want to look more expensive. Kasi alam nyo, guys, lahat ng mga binili kong yun, lahat ng mga pinakita kong yun, Totoo, kung yung sasabihin ko na Matilda at saka kay Irish, binili ko lang yung sabi ni Surya, guys. So, sa atin sa atin lang to, ha? Huwag kayong mga marites. We also need stand for this. So, first, I did it a while ago because I don't want to be hassle today. So, I already paste the dummy or the styro on the board so that when you put the fondant, it will not move. So, it will be stable, guys. Like that. <laughs> so, even though you put it like that, yeah, you want to party. You can party because it's like that. It's stable, guys. So, let's make our tutorial faster because I'm going to party outside. So, my friends are waiting for me, guys. But, Irish asked me to help her to have some fondant tutorial. That's why I'm here with you right now. So guys, let's put this first here. So we need a spacious environment. <laughs> we need a spacious place for us to move. When you make some fun that guys, you need to have a spacious place like this. So I'm gonna put this first here. And guys, let's start because I don't want to make this video so long. So first, I'm gonna 
get some fondant the one that I use from my client and it's up to you if you want to have a white fondant or any color but since I use this pink so it's sayang naman guys so there I have white I'm gonna mix this pink fondant to my white fondant so I'm gonna get some fondant here so when you feel like your fondant is too hard to handle like me so you can put it on your microwave and just a second and then so that it will be soft you know I, I have a soft heart when it comes to buying things I am too hard to pick one if you know what I'm telling guys you know so there you go guys you need to have some effort that's why guys I didn't do my work out a while ago because I know I'm gonna do my arm work out here you need to have a puerza when doing this So you need some fondant and I will mix it. I really want to make some pink dummy cake. So there. If it feels like it's too hard, you can use your shortening. My shortening is Crisco. I bought it also from the baking store. So that's it guys. So you need a lot of effort when you do this fondant. It's too hard actually, but when you enjoy what you're doing, guys, it's okay. Just like me, I am Sushalera. I'm enjoying it, guys. So there, guys, when your fondant feels like it's hard or you cannot press it or you cannot do it like this, you can add some shortening in there. So there, guys. You need to make some effort. My oh. necklace. Look at my necklace. It's too pretty. Can you please comment down below if it's pretty? I bought this somewhere else. You know, guys, when you do some cake business you will achieve or you can buy this expensive necklace so if I were you you watch this video so that you will be like me I have so many clients there and I can buy anything so when it feels like it's hard don't take it yourself you can make this one me guys ha I have a secret talaga to tell you that my real fondant is made from scratch. I don't want to buy ready-made fondant from baking store because it's too maha. That's only our secret guys ha. Don't tell to anyone. Even Irish. She doesn't know that I am just doing my thing. I am just doing my own fondant for my clients. And there, that makes me really rich guys. So if you want to be rich like me, just get some paper and write all the tips that I'm giving you guys because this will help you a lot guys. So there, it's too tagal guys because the fondant is still not too stretchy and it's not good to put it in our dummy it might be broken so you know that your fondant is okay when it is pliable just like this when you stretch it like that it's not broken or guys <sighs> so there so I need to put some effort when doing this one so I'm gonna put some shortening. Look at our table. It moved. <laughs> oh my gosh, our table is moving. 
it goes to show that I put so much effort when doing this, especially when I'm doing your cakes, guys. There. So wait. I think it's okay now that we can spread it like that. So like this. We can roll it like this and like that. So first, before you do that, if your fondant is okay now, it's manageable, it's pliable. So you put cornstarch on this place. So don't make tip it on your cornstarch because it's just mora. It costs like twenty thousand. So I'm gonna do another effort here, guys. Don't mind my shirt because it's too hot here, so that's why. So I'm gonna kneel down na lang because it's too hard to do this while you are sitting pretty there. So I'm gonna put this first here on the side. I need some space. I need some time. I need some space in doing this. Okay. I need some effort. Oh no. My Zara top, guys. There's so much cornstarch here. But it's okay, guys. I'm gonna change it later after this tutorial. But for now, let's focus on our tutorial so don't mind my short guys I bought this short from Paris but I decided to wear it today because it's too hot and it feels like I, I am fresh when I'm wearing this one guys so I have a lot of shorts on my closet like this one I have green I have black so when I buy some branded cloth or top, guys, I make sure that I will buy all the colors. The Zara. Zara from Divisoria. Because out of stock the Philippines. Oh no guys. So yung iba others oh my gosh baka hindi ako maintindihan ng mga friends ko ay tagalog so ayan guys others they are using some tape measure to measure the dummy so that they can measure the fondant if it's enough it, it's good so me because i am so used to this i don't use any measurements guys I just use tancha, tancha meter. You know tancha meter, guys. So along the way, when you do this all the time, you will also know the tancha tancha. So if it's okay, we can cover and put it on our fondant. But first, guys, since I forgot to tell you, guys, for anything else, you need to put some shortening here so that. The fondant will be the kit agad in there, and you will not make hard time to put your fondant. Oh no, guys! My scraper is mad because even she she doesn't want me to use ordinary materials so okay noted so, it's hot and look at myself it's lasha don't worry I'm gonna go to my friend my baklang friend and ask her to fix myself <laughs> so before that guys before putting it on your fondant you use this guys 
so that it will be smoother. That's smoother, guys. Smoother. Like that. So there, guys, you can put now the fondant on your cake. So there, guys. From there, we can fix our fondant. You can do this. So you can use this, guys when doing this para it will be smoother like this one guys so you can stretch this out and then it's liquid guys and then guys like that we're too serious here guys because this is the most critical part of doing fondant. You can see that we're almost there. Guys, when you feel like your fondant is too sticky, you can add some cornstarch and if your fondant feels like it's so hard to manage you can add some shortening so next guys we're gonna use this pizza cutter to remove the excess fondant here guys there you go guys <laughs> so there guys it's done we're almost done so we're just doing this so that your cake will be more beautiful and will be smoother just when you feel like there's an excess or it feels like it's not good on this part you can always do this one just like what I'm doing nice. so there you go our fondant cake tutorial so there you go our fondant Cake tutorial, everyone. Thanks. It looks so easy, but when you do it, it puts so much effort in doing this, guys. So there you go. Here's our fondant. So you can put some details there. It depends upon your team or what do you want to put there. I want to make some Louis Vuitton cake or Balenciaga, or it's on your taste. What do you want to? do on this fondant guys so there you go guys so we're done with our cake tutorial I hope that this tutorial helped you so much so again this is Brenda Brenda for short I am Irish fan so if you want this video if you learn something don't forget to share it with your friends and family and with those people who need this tutorial if you have requests so don't be too shy to comment down below because Irish will be reading all your requests but that time when you have requests Irish will be the one who will do that tutorial because I'm too busy so let's end this video guys because I need to party there and there and there and I have a lot of things to do I need to make away my shinopping guys so, till our next video guys thank you for watching bye so guys there you go you, as you can see on your screen it's our fondant cake so fondant cake tutorial